Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. This is Zach with Zach Attack Cards. We're going to do another exciting opening. I have to first off apologize for my voice. I am battling yet another cold. It's been a rough uh, season uh, for me when it comes to, to sickness and illness and things like that. So all apologies that I'm, I'm going to sound uh, very deep, very froggy, etc. I'll try not to cough and all that good stuff. But on tap for you is a really cool comparison, right? So we have boxes of 21, 22, and 23 Topps Archives. So just blaster boxes. Um, decided not to get too into the 23 archives this year. I was looking for the lunch boxes, but at least in my area, those, those have skyrocketed to uh, pretty insane prices. So Got a handful of blasters and I thought it'd be really cool that I had a bit of a back stock of 22 and 21 that were actually both on sale, as you can see here, at the local Walmart. So I've had, I've had both of these for several months, this one probably for closer to a year and a half or something like that. Um, never had a ton of thoughts on how or when to open it, but... Thought it'd be really cool to do a little bit of a, here's how this product has kind of evolved over the years. Now I know this one's going to be a little bit different than perhaps most, considering there's three different years every time, with the exception of, was it maybe 21? I remember there was one year where they had like five designs, and I think it was due to the concern of... Uh, Tops losing the license to Panini or to Fanatics before the whole deal for Fanatics to buy Tops. So that one will be a little bit different, but we'll also do a little bit of a comparison, see which one is best. And I thought it would also be cool to see if there were major differences between the boxes. So you get 56 cards in the newest one. And this guy here, you also get 56. And also 56, so that really hasn't changed. Um, but you do also get the three exclusive cards in each one, right? So this one gives you three exclusive 89 Topps Big Foil cards. This one gives you three exclusive 88 Topps Big Foil cards. And then this guy here goes all the way back to, was it, 19, 1969. So should be a lot of fun. Let's start with the quote-unquote oldest one first. It's 2021. And we'll see if we can just maybe get lucky pulling autographs. This is one of the easier products to pull autographs from retail, I will say that. There's some details for you, just in case you're curious. And without further ado, we'll get right into the opening. I know with 22, I, I did a pretty decently large opening of that. Got a hobby box, got a, a bunch of blasters. I think that was maybe it. Ended up pulling three autos, one from a blaster, and obviously you get two in each hobby box, which makes archives one of the better, uh, one of the better products when it comes to hits. You know, you just you have a better chance of hitting something pretty cool. But let's see what twenty one has in store. We have Ahmed Rosario kicking it off. And Lou Brock, Gary Sanchez, Johnny Bench, love the 92, 90, or it could be 91 actually, right? Andre Jimenez, there we go, very nice rookie there. And you got the big three, Zito Hudson and Mulder, I remember them very well. Still shocks me that they didn't win a title. And Hunjin Ryu and Josh Donaldson, so this is, I remember the like 2035 or something like that. They were trying to do a mock-up of what cards might look like. But not too bad. One rookie in the first pack. And uh, a good rookie. Now let's see what we can do in pack number two. We got Yordi. We got Luke Voigt. Nick Madrigal. Vlad Sr. We have a rookie of Alex Kirilov. And here's our first foil, JT Realmuto. Of the Phillies, it always seemed to be there at the end, at least the last few years. Bobby Dalbeck and David Fletcher. Not too bad there either. 
Obviously, 21 has, you know, guys like Jazz Chisholm, uh, I believe Shane McClanahan. Uh, those are some of the some of the top rookie names that you're looking for. Of course, Andre Jimenez that we've already pulled. Got Larry Doby, Honus Wagner, Paul DeYoung, Jake Cronenworth on the rookie, and Garrett Crochet. Followed by Alec Bohm. There's another one, yes, on the Bazooka Shining Stars. Jim Palmer and Ted Williams. Very cool. 2001, and again, the 2035. A relatively quick rip, too, but a decent amount of cards. 56 cards. Got Gary Sheffield on the fish. Cattell Marte. Ryan Sandberg. There's Luis Patino. Ramon Marquez. Randy Johnson. George Springer. And Trey Mancini. Still on my O's. And typically the other thing with archives is they are a larger set. So it's a little bit harder to pull some of the big name rookies. Got Willie Castro, Francisco Lindor, Juan Gonzalez, Freddie Freeman. We got our next big card. We got Black Aces. That's really cool. A lot of names there you don't see too. Dontrell Willis is on there. Dave Stewart, really cool. Esteban Floreal, actually on the rookie. We'll put that in the rookie pile. We got Schwarber, Dave Winfield, and Zach Brinke. Just like that, we're down to just two packs left in the 21 version. Willie Stargell, Clayton Kershaw, Pedro Martinez, Marco Gonzalez, Robin Yount, Kent Herbick. We got Lou Bob, there we go. And Nolan Arenado. So, unless I'm mistaken, not a single rookie in that pack. Last pack, see if we get a last pack magic from 21. Otherwise, still a pretty good deal for, I think it was 17 bucks or something like that. Christy Matheson, got Pudge Rodriguez, Dustin May, Fernando Tatis Jr., Jack Flaherty on our tops big, Zach Gallen, Colton Wong, and Kyle Hendricks. So, a couple of decent name rookies, I'd say, but other than that, nothing too phenomenal coming out of the 21 set. I don't think the bar has been set very high. So let's see if we can beat that with 22. We can also kind of do a little bit of a comparison with the fish boxes beat up. A little bit of a comparison with the tops big. 88 to 89. And here we go. Like I said, open the good number of these. Love the old school, like 87 tops look. Now let's get right to it. Let's get rid of this so we don't get confused. Kicking it off with Manny Machado. Got Mike Schmidt. Gavin Sheets, rookie. All right. Got IKF. Noma. And Ricky Henderson. There we go on the big oil. Bogarts, Tucker, and Starling Marte. Obviously 22, looking for J-Rod, Bobby Witt, Spencer Torkelson. That's pretty much about it. Elio Ramos, Tyler Gilbert. There's Showtime, Shohei Otani. Eddie Matthews. There's J-Rod. We pulled him. There we go. Along with Royce Lewis on the Major League debut. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous card. Kellenick and David Wright. So that pack was brimming with good rooks. Rookies. I hate the term rook. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got here. McMahon, Josh Hader, Yachty. Jose Miranda on the rookie. Byron Buxton. We got Eddie Murray on the big. Jim Palmer. Whoa, Elihiris Il Montero, possibly? And Pee Wee Reese. I wonder, can we get lucky and get an auto in any of these blasters? Greg Maddox, Big Mac, 
Charlie Blackman, Jose Abreu, Josh Hader, Willie Adamus, Salvi Perez, Sonny Gray. Complete veteran pack there. Two to go. Not including this one. Biggio, the Hall of Famer. Henniger, there's Ronald Acuna Jr. Seth Beer on the rookie. Albert Pujols. We got it on O. There we go. Jimmy Key. <laughs> That's awesome. That's really cool. Jimmy Key. It's a name you don't hear very often. Doesn't seem to be numbered or anything like that, but gorgeous signature. Gorgeous. And then finishing on two rookies, Brandon Marsh and Josh Lowe. So look at that. 22, man. 22 just had the mojo in 22. John Carlos Stanton, Jed Lowry, Josh Bell. Randy Johnson in the old school M's uniform. Brooks Robinson. World Series Blast. Got Harper at Don Drysdale. Last pack. I'm not even going to ask for last pack magic because this has been awesome. Trey Turner. Nico Horner. Lars Newtbar. Trey Mancini. Steven Strasberg. And we're going to skip right on past that one. Larry Toby, Thurman Munson, and Nathaniel Lau were low. So clearly 22 takes the lead with that one. And auto, several good rookies, including J-Rod. And you can kind of see the difference between the big cards as well. That was good. So I don't really want to do a comparison with him. Let's do Eddie Murray. There's Eddie Murray versus Jack Flaherty. Definitely 80s wonderful, that's for sure. But I think I'm partial to the 88. 88, yes. Over the 89. And then Jimmy Key. Let's see if we can get that sleeved up real fast. Excuse me for just one second while I do that. Uh, as I've said before, anytime I get an auto, it's pretty awesome, even when it's you know, not somebody I, I care for or, or, you know, I'm a huge fan of, obviously, Orioles fan. But uh, Jimmy Key, I definitely remember. I want to say, did he, did he pitch for the Yankees, too? Yeah, he did. Oh, he pitched for my O's in 97, 98, too. Look at that. I do not recall that. But I was definitely watching. But, all right, let's finish with 23. Got a bit of a steep hill to climb if it wants to take the title from 22. But at the same time, we're looking for Gunner. We're looking for Corbin Carroll. We're looking for Adley Rushman. So, let's see without further ado. And we're starting off with an absolute bang, Adley Rushman. Yeah, buddy. The only thing that makes it more perfect is, will make it more perfect is if I can get Gunner. There's Acuna, we got Bryce Terang, Roger Clemens, Nathaniel Lowe, or Lowe, Vlad Jr., love these. And there's Vlad Sr., really cool. You can get these autoed as well. And Cedric Mullins and Jordan Alvarez. So, already hard to ask for too much more in this one. Got my Adley. We got Charlie Blackman. Christian Yelich. O'Neill Cruz. There we go. Very nice. Hopefully he comes back better than ever. George Kirby. Bryson Stott. And our first is the kid. Love that. Seattle Mariners, too. That's the way I like to remember him. Logan Webb, Murray Banks. You know, I know he played for the Reds for a, a decent part of his career, but growing up, I just, I always remember him as a Mariner more. Then we got Ty Cobb. Got Ryan Sandberg. Buster Posey. Matt Mervis. That's a good rookie there. Derek Jeter on the legend card. 
hit stars, I guess. Nolan Ryan on the Angels, pretty cool. Will Clark and Mason Miller. Like the look at these, look of these. I will say the, I believe the blue is from 2003, if I'm not mistaken. Not my favorite. Miguel Amaya, rookie. Tris Speaker, Miguel Vargas. Okay, there you go, Gabby Moreno. Like that. Got something shiny coming up. Marcus Stroman. And it is a, I'm guessing is a numbered parallel of Oswald Peraza. Let's take a look in a sec. He, Brian Hayes, and Anthony Rizzo. And it is, yes, it is 82 of 99 from the looks of it. So very nice. So I think that probably means no auto, but that's okay. At least we got a hit. We got nothing numbered at all in 21. So 21 was perhaps just a rough year. Muncie, Mize, Tim Anderson, Freddie Freeman, Brandon Crawford, Dalton Varsho. Ooh, Juan Soto. All right, get some nice names on the on the blaster exclusive inserts. And Crown and Marte. Two to go. We get one more of those exclusive inserts. And then we'll be done. Matthew Libertor, Tristan Casas. So getting good rookies too. Scherzer. A Rod. Jordan Walker. There we go. Baby Boomers, J-Rod. All right. So not a rookie anymore, obviously, but love the Baby Boomer insert. You can get those autographed, too, I think, to like 10 or something. Vientos and Gross Hands. And last pack of the opening. Let's see if we can get a little last pack magic, a little bit of LPM. Any fire left in this here opening. Kicking it off with Nomar. Followed by Bo Jackson. Bo knows everything. Got Tatis, Giancarlo Stanton, Pablo Lopez. We have our last insert, Byron Buxton. Would say not quite on the level of Soto and Griffey, but still nice. We got Animus, Conforto, and Ruiz. So we didn't end up scoring a Carroll or a, or a Gunnar Henderson, but hey, at least I got one out of the... the Two major O's rookies that I'm looking for. I will take that every day of the year. Got a numbered card. Really nice insert of J-Rod. But I think I got to give this to 22. Not just because of the autograph. I mean, that's obviously a big help. But also got J-Rod's uh, rookie and a bunch of other good rookies. So, I mean, in terms of, in terms of just everything, I think 22 is going to end up taking it. Let me know in the comments down below. Let me know which one do you think was best. Uh, I think it's pretty clear that no, none of you will be saying 21, considering we got, you know, really next to nothing out of that one. But uh, with that said, you guys, thanks so much for watching. If you could head down below, hit the little subscribe button. We put out videos every Monday and Friday. Uh, click the like while you're there. If you like comparisons and things like this, I'd love to do more like this. They're... A lot of fun to see how the sets and stuff have kind of evolved over the years. And uh, as I already said, drop me a comment. Let me know which one you think took this home. Uh, with that said, one last thing. As I always like to say, thank you guys so much. From the bottom of my heart, it means the world to me that, uh, you know, you enjoy the stuff that I put out there. And you interact with, with me in the comments and stuff like that. It's... Just really cool to be a part of this really awesome community. And uh, so just, just thank you. Thanks for everything. And uh, with that said, get you out of here. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.